morning guys it is wedding week and I thought that I would bring you guys along for the next couple of days and just film where I can because this is probably going to be the last vlog that I upload before I take a month off and head off on my honeymoon and I want to spend as much time with you as possible because to be honest guys having a YouTube channel and filming every single week sharing with you my thoughts what I've been buying things that I've been interested in I feel like it's a little bit of therapy for me and the thought of not doing that is kind of scary so having a month off will be nice but of course I'll be keeping you guys updated over on my Instagram sometimes I wish YouTube had um, the ability where I could do like stories and stuff because I would solely use YouTube if that was the case I really love using the community page to do posts and keep you guys updated do polls but that is one thing I know you can film shorts but I don't know I feel like stories would be better so anyway I am going to be doing my skincare this morning so today we have a meeting with our celebrant just to finalize some things sign some papers and then after that I just have little jobs to do here and there I really want to start cleaning the house um, and not deep cleaning but because we are heading away for a month I don't want there to be you know like the oven and stuff I kind of want to give it a good clean before we go away because I don't want it sitting there for a month not being used so yeah what have you guys been up to let me know in the comments below. I know half of us are in winter and the other half of us are in summer. Um, is anyone going on any holidays? Just, yeah, I'd be interested to know what everyone's doing. Um, I had the most lovely hens weekend. So basically, I didn't know anything about the hens. I basically, when my sister said to me months ago, what would you like to do? I just said, honestly, a girly sleepover where I can just hang out with my friends in our pajamas and just spend good quality time together. I didn't want there to be a lot of drinking. I didn't want there to be even a lot of activities. I just wanted to chill. So that's exactly what they organized. Sorry guys, I'm going in with this Chanel Micro Liquid Essence and I basically just put a little bit on my fingers and rub it in. So anyway, I jumped in the car with my sister on Friday afternoon and we drove up to out to Witta, which is just past Mullaney. And that's like the hinterland of where um, we live. And we pulled up to the most beautiful country style home. I'll insert photos as I'm kind of talking about it. And my jaw dropped. I was just like, oh my God, I am so excited for this. I feel like in Australia, you don't get to see a lot of old homes. Um, so when you do, it's just so special and so beautiful and we really appreciate it. And I feel like all of my girlfriends, we were just in awe at, you know, just like a fireplace and, um, they had like beautiful ceiling roses, um, on the ceiling around the lights. They had beautiful cornices, just so much detail in the house. And it was just, yeah, a really lovely place to stay. And then at around 5.30 p.m. in the afternoon, all of my girlfriends started arriving. I think we did our nails that night. My sister has so much nail stuff. And she brought it all and we basically laid it out all on the table. And we all just hung out, did our nails, had dinner, and just a really nice, cozy, quiet night in in front of the fire. And then the next morning, we all woke up and pretty much just started getting ready. Because although we weren't going anywhere, Saturday was like the day of activities. So I'm going in with my QV moisturizer, by the way, guys. And it was a Bridgerton style high tea. They had the Bridgerton playlist going. We had all these beautiful cupcakes, quiches, little sandwiches. We were all sipping on mimosas. And we played a bunch of Bridgerton themed games and it was so much fun we hung around in that area for a couple of hours just chatting laughing eating and I absolutely loved it so all the girls wore beautiful florally or colored dresses and I was in all white and for that outfit actually I already had um, my server label top and I ended up just buying a white slip skirt from Dish and it actually turned out really nicely. The skirt arrived the day, like the morning of the hens and I was like, I just hope that this outfit works because you know how sometimes you envision something and it just doesn't pull off. And as the day progressed, we kind of all ended up back inside again in our comfy clothes in front of the fire. Some of the other girls hadn't done their nails yet, so we did our nails again. And then it kind of just rolled into the night. We all had dinner and it was just a really relaxing cozy weekend and we didn't go to bed particularly early like we ended up staying up quite late because I just feel like when you've got a good group of girls you could just talk for days and days and days so that's exactly what we did and 
That is what I wanted for my hens because of course it's the weekend bef before the wedding. I wanted something really relaxing and when I got home I felt refreshed. I didn't feel tired. I didn't feel like... Yeah, it just felt really, really nice. I'm now going in with my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. So of course I'm not working this week at all and thank gosh I did that because I had spoken to girls who had been married before and they all recommend to take the week before your wedding off because things pop up that you need to do. And it, that is so true. I just feel like every day I am filling up my days, especially because we are going to Europe, I need to pack at some point as well. So I'm thinking I actually have plenty of time after the wedding to pack for Europe. So I am just going to park that, not even worry about it. And this week I am just focusing on getting everything done. I'm also focusing on relaxing. I want to have a bath this evening. I want to scrub my body because I will get my fake tan done tomorrow. And like I said, I also want to just go through and tidy the house because that just clears my mind as well. And I find it quite therapeutic. Oh, I also wanted to give you guys an update on my anxiety. So as you guys know, I get really bad travel anxiety. I love traveling, but unfortunately there is always a dark cloud hanging over me because it is like my number one trigger um, for, for my anxiety. So usually this far out from a trip, I'm less than a week out now, I am so unwell. I'm usually not sleeping at night, I'm waking up in the night feeling really sick, I don't eat, um, and it's just a very, all of my symptoms are very physical and I just can't escape it. However, because I went and saw my doctor, I think it was a month or so ago now, to get a script for Valium. I feel fine and it's not that I've even been taking it it's just knowing that I have that backup so obviously do your research and do what works for you but I think I just got to the point where I've always with my anxiety been really natural about it and I didn't want to take anything for it I really wanted to learn to control my mind I wanted to do a little bit more um, meditation do a more physical exercise less caffeine I, I've done all the things but I got to the point where I just thought I'm more than happy to kind of power through it any other time in my life, but for my honeymoon and my wedding, I just, I need something to make sure that I am not sick because I just wasn't willing to take the risk. So just by having the Valium there, I haven't even had to take it. Um, I feel great. I'm not worried. I do get a little bit nervous at times, but it's just a nice little safety net. And just by having it there, I already feel better. I did have to take half of one um, on my hens weekend because I did start to feel a little bit anxious at night because sometimes it comes on more at night. And it just took the edge off and it worked really well. So that is my current skincare routine. I'm not going to apply any makeup because I am trying to clear up my skin a little bit. I've got a few spots that have popped up along my jawline and around my face, um, and also a big one here because it is that time of the month. I think I have to leave here in about 20 minutes for our appointment, but other than that, it's just going to be a nice day at home pottering around, which is like my favorite thing to do. So guys, I've just come to Amber's because we're going to do our nails for the wedding. So I mentioned that we did our nails at the hens, but I just painted them. Whereas today I'm actually going to do like proper extensions on my nails because Amber literally has everything for it. So she also has a friend coming over as well. So we're all just gonna sit, hang out, drink cups of tea and do our nails. Um, and I'm thinking like she has all of these colors here. Amber has individually gone through, painted all the colors onto here. Um, and I'm going to go through and choose which one I want. I'm thinking of going something quite simple. Uh, maybe even just like this kind of color where it's your nail but better. Or do I go maybe like a pearly white? Because that's what I did on my toes and it looks quite nice. So I'm going to go through these, select which color I want. But yeah, it should be really fun. Amber's just putting the baby to bed. Has she gone down? Yeah. Okay, great. So yeah, I'll put you guys on a bit of a time lapse, do our nails. I'm trying not to get into the camera too much because I feel like I look terrible this morning. Um, I need to wash my hair and everything. But anyway, we are starting the wedding glow up now. So let's get all this sorted. Oh, oh my God, that is... Delicious. Isn't it? Is that the one? That's like Is that the raspberry sweet. strawberry? Yeah. yeah. I had it last night. It was so good. Oh my god.
So mum has just picked up all the flowers because she will be doing them for the wedding. So mum, do you want to run us through what we've got here? Okay, so these are stocks which smell beautiful. They're sort of Chanel number no. five scent. Oh, we love a bit of Chanel yeah, number five. These are Emmy Vignata, which is Queen Anne's lace, but the florist quality. Great. This is they smell beautiful. That's chamomile. Chamomile, guys. Mm -hmm. This is called Misty. So it's just for a bit of air and. I light. love that. Yeah. Quite wispy. Yeah. Snaps. White snaps. Yep. Um, Potostrum for foliage because it's got that, that nice yep. dark stem. Yes, and I wanted some greenery. Yeah. Uh, these are the double carnations. Yes. So they'll double in size once we get them out. Great. These are Blushing Bride, which is our native for some. Is that what they call it? Yeah, Blushing Bride. Oh my yeah. gosh, and they're native. How yeah. special. These are all the sweet peas. They smell. Beautiful. Beautiful, and I love the sweet pea tendrils. Yes. Yeah. These are the freesias, which smell gorgeous. Oh, they've got a lovely stunning. sculptural. Oh, they look like them. little fairy dresses. Mm -hmm. And early cheer, which are tiny little daffodils. They have a beautiful. Oh, they are little daffodils, aren't they? They have a beautiful scent, and they're called early cheer because oh. they're early oh. and they're cheerful. Oh. <laughs> And yeah, that's just the rest of the frizz and the roses are all there. All white roses. Yeah. So they're oh a bit tight, but I'll be able to put them out in the sun and flutter them and then they'll all come out like that. Oh my gosh, yeah. guys, how lucky am I to have a mum that can put all of my flowers together. So I'll for sure be sharing with you how these end up. I've got two plinth arrangements and then the bouquet. The trough. And the trough the for this. And the table arrangements. Great. All right. Thank you for that, mum. <laughs> Guys, I've just noticed my auntie has a huge, what is it, praying mantis? I think so. It's on her shirt. Praying mantis. That would have come off the flowers. Yeah, a lot of it them would are have. Oh well, a little brooch for the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty guys, a couple of days have passed. We have now had the wedding. It is Monday and tomorrow we fly to Europe. So I thought I would sit down with you all and chat about the wedding and all the finer details because I had so many questions about my dress, um, just what I wore in general, my shoes, and just finer details about the wedding itself. So make yourself comfortable, grab yourself a drink or a snack. And I will go through it all and I'll insert little photos here and there because we have received sneak peek photos from our photographer and I am so excited to share them with you. Let's start off with the dress because I feel like that is an element that is kept secret throughout the whole wedding process and planning um, and I haven't been able to talk about it much. So in terms of how I came across my dress, Shona Joy was always... Um, a brand that I loved and I loved their bridal collection. Not to mention they are so affordable and I think they are honestly just as beautiful as some of the really expensive dresses. So to start off with, um, months ago when once we were engaged, after about three months or so, I thought, you know what, let's, you know, try on some wedding dresses. And I love the brand Danielle Frankel. I'll insert a couple of photos from that brand um, because I just loved the vibe of it. And the only store nearest me was in Brisbane. So I booked a appointment there with my sister and my mum. And it was more just a bit of fun. And I really wanted to enjoy that experience because to be honest, guys, I knew that I wasn't going to purchase from Bloom Bridal. These dresses, by the way, are absolutely gorgeous, beautifully made. The fabrics were stunning and I understand the amount of work that goes into making each dress. They're like a work of art. So I had so much fun trying them all on and I honestly thought that maybe after that I would be able to try a dress on, see what it looks like on me and I might be able to find it on the pre-love market because you guys know I love shopping pre-love for everything. So... After trying some on, there was one in particular that I just loved and that was one of those dresses that I tried on and I had that moment where I was like, this is the dress. However, it was so expensive and I had a look online to see if I could find it pre-loved and it was still quite expensive. So after doing a little bit of looking around, I didn't feel like I was compromising because I still loved the dresses from Shona Joy so much. 
and it was almost like it was meant to be because about a week later my friend Pixie who was one of my like unofficial bridesmaids she messaged me a link to the latest Shona Joy wedding range and she sent me this particular dress and I saw it and I just thought that is gorgeous. I saw that it was made from 100% silk as well so the actual material was beautiful. So they do 30 day returns and I believe the dress is $1,400 which to be honest paying for 100% silk that's actually quite a good price. Um, all of their other dresses a lot of them aren't actual silk um, so that's why I wanted to go with this one. So anyway I ordered the dress and I thought worst case scenario it doesn't work I can send it back for a full refund. I tried on the dress and it was beautiful. I was just so happy that I pretty much had the dress of my dreams for $1,400 and the price that I paid for all the alterations was $150. So yeah, I really was happy with everything. And I know I don't want to talk about price too much, but I also understand that a lot of the questions I get asked are around cost. And you know, cost is a big thing when it comes to a wedding. So absolutely love my dress. When we went on our Sydney trip um, earlier in the year, I went with my friend Pixie um, and we came across these shoes. So there was a bridal shop and they had half price on all their shoes and this particular pair they had one size left and it was in my size so these came down to $150 they are from the brand Badgley Mishka which are like a wedding shoe brand and they have the most beautiful bow on the end of them and I just absolutely love them so I ended up purchasing those as for shoes for the ceremony because we did get married on the sand so I didn't want to wear these heels so I found these shoes online I will link them below um, and they are these cute little silver slingbacks and they were perfect and they just looked so cute under my dress so they were my ceremony shoes as for all of my jewelry I wore my everyday jewelry so the studs and the little pearl earrings from Linnea I also had this necklace which is again from Linnea with the little diamond pendant if I can find it this little necklace here and it was so funny because when I was getting ready for the morning of the wedding the girls were like oh what jewelry are you going to wear and I looked in the mirror and I was like I'll just wear my everyday jewelry because it honestly suited the dress and everything so well. So yeah, I was really happy that I was able to wear Linear Jewelry because they are a brand that I work with so often here on my YouTube channel and they are so supportive. A week before the wedding, they sent the most beautiful decadent box of chocolates for Ryan and I and just so so thoughtful with a beautiful card but I just can't thank Linear enough for all of their support and they're just a brand that I love to work with because I genuinely wear their jewelry and they are such a beautiful team. Um, as for my wedding band I went with plain gold and it is a three millimeter width with like the square edge. Moving on to the bag that I use, guys, I actually use my Longchamp Le Playage. So in here, I kept my shoes that I wasn't wearing, my cardigan, and then I also had within here, my horse, um, from the horse, the Clara bag in oat, because this is the lightest color bag that I own, and it was such a great size. So in here, I kept things like peppermints, I have my lip balm, my lipstick, my phone, um, all of those items I kept in here. So when we went down for photos and stuff, I just grabbed this, but this whole bag stayed um, under one of the tables. So we had a gifts table with a tablecloth and under there is where I kept this. So that's everything that I wore to my wedding day. In terms of the actual day and how it all went, we hit the jackpot with weather. So I knew that the temperature um, was going to be pretty good at this time of the, of the year, but last week we had a real cold snap. So I was really worried about the dress that I was wearing and I was worried that I was going to be really cold. However, on this particular day, there was no wind. The temperature had um, gone to 24 degrees rather than I believe the week before it was lower than 20. And yeah, there was no wind and not a, I um, kid you not, not a single cloud in the sky. Like it was just blue. So that is a little bit about the wedding. Of course, I will be sharing more on my Instagram, more photos, more details if you guys are interested. Um, but now I am just going to probably start editing this video, to be honest, and then I am going to start packing as well. So that's kind of my plan for the afternoon. I also 
got rid of all of my hair extensions after the wedding. So um, pretty much the day after and this afternoon, one of my friends is a hairdresser. I'm meeting um, her at her place at 5 p.m. and she is going to cut my hair again. So although I only just got it cut before the wedding, I wanted a little bit more length um, so I could get a little bit of a wave in there. But for Europe, I wanted it to be like up to my shoulder. So I'm really excited for that. And honestly, it's was something that if my friend wasn't a hairdresser, I wouldn't even bother doing. So I guess I'll start editing and also start packing. some wedding gifts because we did receive a couple and I absolutely love them and yeah I thought I would share them with you so from my friend Katrina she bought me the most beautiful leather toiletry bag and it has my new initials on there so I think I might take this with me to Europe because it's very lightweight and I love how big it is so I might even see if my straightener can fit in here if not a lot of my larger products um, will so I absolutely love that and then she also got us a bottle of Maui so Ryan and I are probably going to save this for when we get back and we can pop that maybe we might even pop it like on our first wedding anniversary or something save it and put it in the drinks cabinet so thank you Katrina that was such a lovely gift and then from my friend um, Pixie who is like was one of my unofficial bridesmaids her and her husband were very very generous um, they gifted us some money as well as these beautiful uh, customized gl uh, wine glasses so these are from the brand here's the box Mon Ver or Mon Vier. and they came in quite a large box and the wrapping was so beautiful each glass had its own little silk bag which again I could use for packing for Europe I could maybe slip some um, underwear or something in there yeah I'm gonna leave those out because I think I could use those for packing they are so soft and then they had a beautiful ribbon around them and these are the glasses Ryan and I love red wine so we would definitely use these one has SM and the other has RM so yeah I'll pop those into our wine glass cabinet and I am so happy with them and then from my auntie and uncle we received the most beautiful um, large cutting board or cheese board and it has a resin 
um, detail on it. I believe this was made from a local artist here on the Sunshine Coast. And yeah, as you can see, the resin looks just like a wave and then it's this beautiful large cutting board. And it also came with some little ramekins, which I believe also made out of resin. Thought those were super cute and then also a cheese knife. So I absolutely love this because Ryan and I don't currently have a cheese board this big and it will be great for entertaining and I know it'll be something that we have forever. I just love that we did receive a few gifts because you know, whenever I use these items, I can be like, yep, that was a wedding gift from so-and-so. So it's really beautiful. And then from our family friends, Emma and Dorian, they got us these beautiful glasses. There's four of them. And I believe, I don't know what the actual name of these are, but I've seen people use them for desserts. Um, they are so beautiful. They've got this nice rib design here. I've also seen people use them with cheese boards and they have olives or sun-dried tomatoes in there. And it kind of raises that so then you can put biscuits and stuff down the bottom you could even probably put guacamole in there and put some chips down the bottom i feel like i will use these a lot so again i'll keep these in my glass cabinet and like i said there was four of them and then in addition to that emma actually creates her own um, homeware so ceramics and candles it's called curve homewares i will leave it linked below and she has already made me a beautiful candle which i currently have burning in the kitchen um, but this one here is personalized just for the wedding so it comes in this beautiful jar and on the front there you have our names you have our wedding date you've got the plinths all of the flowers on here are the actual flowers that i had you've got a bottle of um, champagne there there's also a picture of remy like so personalized so detailed and i said to her once i use it i don't want this is something i want to keep so either i'll wash it out and use it as a jar or she said she can just keep refilling it so i am going to put all of this away i've given the house a good clean and i might actually start packing i'm not too worried about packing for this trip because it is summer so I have a lot of summery clothes and I know that I should be able to pack lightly. So I've just finished packing. I am filming on my phone because I've put all of my camera gear away in my carry-on. Um, but the suitcase I'm using is from the brand Monos. I will leave them linked below. I This was a collaboration over on Instagram and I absolutely love this suitcase because it's not too big. It is the medium size and I thought it would be perfect um, for some of our shorter flights because you can only have a max of 15 kilos. So anyway, um, on this side, I have all of my clothes. And to be honest, guys, I didn't have to do the whole rolling method or anything because I am trying to pack light. So in here, we have all of my pajamas and all of my clothes for the whole month. And because I'm taking all summer stuff, it fits really nicely. I do have one knit jumper. Um, but pretty much everything else is summer vibes. Then on this side, I have all of my underwear in this. Um, these have like their own separate little pockets, which are great. So I've got all of my underwear in here, all of my bikinis in here. And behind this, I have these bags, like shoe bags came with the suitcase. So I have my Tiva sandals, my Bellini sandals. So they're the ones um, that are you know, more for going out at night for dinner. And then in this bag here, I have one of my Gucci bags. I'm only taking one little designer handbag. I also have a disposable camera, my vintage Chanel sunglasses. I've got my straightener and all of my hair products. And then I have all of my makeup because I will only be taking skincare for the actual um, carry on during my flight. So that is literally everything right there. And then over on this side, we have my backpack and guys, this is tight. Like, yeah, I'm literally cramming everything in here. So this is what I'm wearing. I've got a t-shirt, socks, underwear, some Lululemon leggings, and then I've got a nice warm jumper because it is winter here. And then I have my New Balance runners. And then I've got my water bottle, which I plan to empty before we leave. I've got my travel pillow and then all of my tech and everything that I'll need for the long haul flight is in here. So tech honestly takes up like majority of my bag, but I want to have it with me and you have to have your laptop and stuff with you. Um, I've got one spare t-shirt, a spare pair of underwear and a spare pair of socks. So when we get to Dubai, I plan to have a shower, change into some fresh clothing, but I'll still wear the same hoodie and same leggings. So that is everything in my bag. And yes, it is 
so tight in here like it's a struggle but to be honest guys once we get there this will be a day pack and everything else can go back into my luggage so I think I will be thanking myself that you know I packed as light as I could for the um flight so that is everything I am now going to have a shower get into these clothes because we are leaving the house in about an hour's time and I will catch all of you guys in my next video I do have a couple of videos pre-filmed I did one um, of everything that I'm taking in my carry-on and then I also did a video of a full euro summer haul because I have some new clothes in here that I really want to share with you so I will be editing those videos on the plane and I hope to get them up for you whilst I'm away plus I will be filming on the trip because I wasn't going to but to be honest guys I want to so we'll see how I go anyway but I will catch you all in my next one bye guys <laughs>